So you're single also. Um, how does that look? Um, I go on dates. I have a favorite. Um, and then there's like the other guys that are like, they're farther away, you know? Um, yeah. So you have a roster kind of? I wouldn't call it a roster because they're dates, you know? They're, they're not like, they're not like hookups. Oh. So, but you are hooking up with your main guy. Or I don't whatever. want to answer that. You don't want to answer that? Why, why is that? Uh, I'm worried about my digital footprint. You're, okay. So what is, uh, what is digital footprint, worried about digital footprint? Yeah, like what are you, I, an NFTs or something? If I like wanted a job and then they search up my name and then I'm over here talking about a bunch of gross stuff. Gross oh. stuff. <laughs> Well, right. let me ask you a Have couple you, like, questions. Have you watched this podcast before? I don't think no. she requested. To be clear, she. I, oh. I want to make it very clear to the viewers. She requested to be on. She DM'd us. So there's. <laughs> okay. Um, I don't think your boss is going to care if you have sex. I was gonna say, are you like applying to be a nun and like you can't have any previous history of sex or like? Is you do this? realize this is a dating and relationship podcast where we talk about dating and. What topics were you anticipating? Were you talking like collateralized? No, I, I know. Hold on. A, Oh. Collateralized debt obligations. Like, what did you anticipate we were going to talk about on the? Sorry for interrupting. Um, it's fine. <laughs> what? I mean, there's like opinions that I have, and okay. I said in advance that I wouldn't, and you guys were like, "Cool." Well, it wasn't. You didn't precisely lay out what was and what wasn't. We'll see I was told this was a sports podcast. <laughs> <laughs> I thought this was a job interview. I'll feel it out. <laughs> Um, well, I'll just, okay, so you provided some pre-show notes to us, so I'm assuming the pre-show notes that you provided are fair game. So you said you have many crazy dating stories like you dated influencers and billionaires. Nice. You're very opinionated. You can argue but kind of have a unique stance. You think women sh I don't think women should work. That's what you said. Is that correct? Okay. Um, you said you dated influencers and billionaires. Any influencers that you can reveal? I don't, I think they wouldn't like that. Can you tell us Not the genre? Super like crazy. TikTok, uh, fitness. Fitness, uh, fitness. And you said you dated billionaires, as One, in plural. Singular, sorry. Okay, you, you use the plural in, the, in your messages here. Uh, so you dated a singular billionaire. Can you tell us what realm of uh, industry he's in? Real estate. Real estate. How old is he? 30. A 30 year old billionaire. Okay, and he's in real estate. And you're 19? How old were you when you dated him? 18. It was gross. <laughs> Why? Well, he was, what, 29? And you were, you were 18, right? You were an adult. Yeah. Why would that be gross? I mean, my prefrontal cortex isn't developed. So do you think women shouldn't vote um, at 18, then? No. Um, oh, so you, so you can make political de decisions that could lead to war, but you don't have the, the mental faculties to engage in consensual sex with another adult? It's not really about that. Um, I can form opinions about things that I read, but relationships are a, like, like in politics, like I can read the news and understand that, but relationships are a lot more complicated. So you can elect, you can vote to elect a representative that would send people to war to die. You can buy a firearm, you can, you can join the military, but you aren't, you don't feel like you can engage in a consensual romantic or sexual relationship with another adult? Um, you interrupted me. Um, while well, I was hold, no, 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 hold on. <laughs> I'm the host of the podcast, therefore there's a higher conversational burden on me. So yes, I'm, I have a little more leeway to interrupt. Go ahead with your point. I just meant um, because I was going to tell you my point. Um, go, go ahead. Interpersonal relationships are like a completely different realm. It's not just processing simple information and then making an informed decision. It's like, how do I explain it? I can't really explain it, but like I think it's totally different. You can't, you can't explain your position? You feel like he took advantage of you because he was older? I'm not saying necessarily he did. I'm just saying I won't know how I feel about it until I'm older. It's feelings. That's what it is. Yeah. It's feelings. Politics you called it gross. shouldn't involve feelings. It does sometimes, but it really shouldn't if you're voting for the right people. Um, but, I mean, in relationship, there's feelings, you know? Like, it, you can be manipulated. Could I just ask, like, 
outside of the politics of it, like, why do you think it's gross? Was it gross because the age gap? Was it gross because he did things? You don't have to specify, but like, what was gross because? Or was it gross because you dated a gross. billionaire? What was in it for you? I just think in general that like, there. I mean, I was like a high schooler, you know. So um, you were in high school. I was. Sorry. Yeah, I was like naive. Like I didn't know. Like he could have been hurting me, and I wouldn't have known. Hmm. Sounds later. like zero accountability to me, but... Um, I just personally think it's kind of weird, like, being 25, almost like 26, I personally wouldn't date an 18-year-old because there's a very big maturity gap. So, like, that could be a reason. So I think, like, in that way, it's a little weird because I personally wouldn't date someone a lot younger than me. Just because, like, thinking back when I was 18, like, I was not developed at all like i didn't know a lot of things that i do now i mean men and so women like, are very different so mm -hmm. but in what still. way are you gonna in what way tell me what way what way in we're terms different of age in terms of age for you well in in terms of what they're generally attracted to women in general mm -hmm. tend to date up even if it's one two or three years right and we yeah. see this this is evidenced by for example marriage statistics women typically will marry someone uh, I don't know what the exact average is, but typically they te the average age of marriage for women is younger than it is for men. Andrew, do you have anything for this? Yeah, so you're you're kind of talking about. Um, oh, sorry. Hold on. Five hundred and thirty-eight donated two hundred dollars. Gross BC may have to hashtag me to underscore victim those biles. Okay, Bone Man five three. <laughs> okay, Bone What's Man. What does that mean? Appreciate. I don't understand. I have a, something about that though. It's like, so you were saying like you wouldn't, you know, you remember what you were like, mm -hmm. and you're thinking back like, well, it doesn't seem like. Yeah, I, was I wouldn't want to date a young chick because I, we don't have interests exactly. that are the same. I would, we, I would, I don't even know what a lot of young women it's are talking very, about like, most of the immature. time. Yeah, I don't, I don't like it. However, I would imagine that a billionaire's motive of dating her. It was mm -hmm. probably physical, probably. right? He's not looking to engage with her about it, the thing like finance or exactly. technology or any of those things. And you, and so, why but his, is why that? is his motive gross to date her? But her motive to be with a billionaire is some. some is, was he super hot? I mean, was That's this fair. guy like what was yeah. the right? So your motive <laughs> might have also been physical, and but also you're bragging that he's a billionaire now, even though you found that it was gross then. So you guys just had a nice little trade there. That's all that was. I don't think it's gross. I don't think he's a piece of shit for wanting to date a young chick i think that everything that you said is correct but i think it's still completely valid for her to look back on that and find it to weird. be gross yeah. it's completely gross, valid it can be all those things that you just said and still for her to. and i didn't judge gross. her for it i just said why is it gross i asked why andrew you, andrew well, do you, when you say valid yeah what do you mean by valid like uh just how she feels about it she can feel valid I just about asked her it why i use the word hold on hold on anything? please let them talk yeah, can't, can't she feel valid about anything? Like, what what does that mean? Does that, that is totally a meaningless statement? No, if she's looking back at it, and, and I know there's like a source of like intimidation here. She's she's probably the youngest person here right now. Uh, whoa, hold on, a, a what? It's a little bit of an intimidation. I think we went around the table and you immediately started harping on the young girl who said well, that she was uncomfortable with the billionaire. Well, I I know, hold on, I, I, I don't sense. like, I, I, I do not like your, uh, the way you are painting this interaction here. I started with her. I asked yeah. her what her status is. And you two like, are in relationships. Acceptable. I'm going He's going through I'm it. going around asking people to delve further into their I think his feelings are valid. Yeah. I totally yeah. agree. I think everyone's I think you're so right. <laughs> There's some disagreement. You're so allowed. Andrew, to did you want to continue with Yeah, let me sorry. Yeah, I was I was trying to figure out what you meant when you said it's valid. So if everything he says about this is true, mm -hmm. you say but you you're just talking about her feelings in general, right? So how she feels, you think that that's going to be valid regardless of what the fact of the matter is? Totally. I think um, I think there's a there's a if someone is feeling a certain way, I think they're totally if she's looking back at it and she's like, you know what, that was really gross. That made me feel really uncomfortable. It probably did feel gross and uncomfortable. Is that the situation at hand objectively? Who knows? But if that's how she feels personally, that's how she views the situation. That's why we asked why. And that's you ask why. Yeah, just like why do you feel percent. gross? There's it wasn't a judgment wrong. at all. There's nothing wrong with you questioning it. And there's nothing wrong with her with her answering it. But I think uh, that, that, that's it. I feel like yeah, but you could you could see where the confusion would come in if we're trying to get to the fact of the matter, and instead of the fact of the matter, you kind of chime in with what what about her feelings though? Well, we're just it trying to get to the fact of the matter. What about her feelings? 
You that, guys well, are, that's, you guys that's are why I asked you specifically what you, you meant by valid to, yeah. and what you meant by valid was how she feels, right? How do I look yeah. when he's talking? Like, where is he? Um, <laughs> go straight up. Like, like you can hear me, so like answer um, the question. Look to the you heavens. You told me what like valid meant and like valid just meant like feelings, right? Did I talk? Go ahead. Yeah, it's your thing. I'm yeah, sorry talk for to speak yourself. on your behalf. I, I, also, I'm going to talk to her the same way whether she's 18 or 19. And or you should. What. Well, but you suggested maybe we shouldn't so because never, she's a young girl. Never once said that. You said never that he targeted once... in on her because she's the youngest. Okay, let me say I definitely do there is cause But I don't care who the fucking age she is. I'm just it's not because of age. Yeah. Yeah. No, but just I think there is a level of vulnerability that I think she has that most of us probably do on at the table. And you guys know that. Come on. I feel like a lot of words are be put, being put in my mouth from both sides, but I also agree with both sides, and I also <laughs> think that um, it's gonna be a long show, folks. <laughs> with this conversation, like I think, like after hashing through it with you, like I do kind of change my opinion a little bit. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I do kind of change my opinion a little bit after hearing your guys's. Um, but um, I think that first of all, I didn't say uncomfortable, and so yeah, I think that's all I have to say, actually. Okay. okay. All right. So you were dating a billionaire. Um, how did you meet him? Was it a dating app? Tinder. Tinder. Okay. A billionaire was on Tinder. Oh. I know. What? That's... Yeah, it was crazy. How do you it know was he so was weird. a billionaire? Did he have a Wikipedia page? He had a literal row of mansions that his entire family lived in separate houses on. Oh, he's got family wealth. Okay. Yeah, um, he didn't. He never. <laughs> oh, so he's like a trust fund um, kid. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, um, Wait, so, okay. And real estate. <laughs> <laughs> so, okay, and you, so you met on Tinder, you were 18, he was 29 at the time? 30 and then 31. Oh, okay, I see. And um, so how long were you seeing him for? Six months. Six months, okay. And given that he was a billionaire, did you kind of reap any benefits from that in terms of was he kind of like a sugar daddy was it a sugar daddy thing kind of no or? i never got any money but it would just be fun stuff like i'd be like you know it'd be fun right now air hockey immediately air hockey table just like wherever i am at the moment is now there isn't it it's kind of amazing to me like an 18 year old girl is dating a billionaire like that's <laughs> Good for you. Just Can that's, we go uh, back to the to the air hockey thing real quick? <laughs> but did, you, did you just say that your motivation was what was really cool about it was anywhere you could go, there would just be air hockey there for you? No, I just think that's one of the interesting things. That wasn't the main draw. It wasn't, I'm not like that air hockey focused, but um, <laughs> that's a great sound. I'm just saying as far as perks go, that I, it wasn't like all perks. That wasn't why I was there, but as far as perks go. Were you living with him? No. Okay. Um, would he take you on trips? Would you guys vacation together? He like did not talk to anyone or go anywhere. Um, we went on like like local trips though. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nothing. Yeah. So you could have just been essentially dating an average dude. <laughs> like it, it was the same exact. Your lifestyle didn't change in any, any way because you were dating a billionaire. I think Maybe it, his house I think it, was nice. I don't know. I was just like, getting what I want on request is like so fun. Wait, what? Getting what I want on request is so fun. Like, what are some examples of that? Yeah, I'm curious about that. Well, first of all, air hockey. Air table. hockey. Um, air hockey. Yeah. Sad. I really did they just, like. Did they just carry around an air hockey table for you? <laughs> no, I was just using that as an example. Um, okay. But like, I liked alcohol at the time. I could get that. Also, it, that's kind of weird that I was 18 and this dude's just like giving me as much liquor as I want. Were you asking for... Yeah. I'm not saying okay. it's super weird. I'm just saying it's a little bit weird. I Well, I certainly wouldn't advise men over 21 buying alcohol for... It is illegal, actually, so it's a little bit weird. Yes. I, I think feel it's like good. this but doesn't you, require billions of dollars, though. What are the what are the billion, of, billion just, dollar perks that you were getting? It, him being a billionaire sounds like it was totally secondary. It was like Like, one. it didn't even... It was like one billion. It wasn't like... A million billion, you know? That's still a lot. That's still <laughs> That's a, lot a lot of mo money. a lot of money. Dang. Yeah, it was like it'd be like seven thousand dollar hotel room, and, or like a Bentley, and that I'm allowed to drive it really fast. Wait, so okay, you're 18. You dated a billionaire. How do you go from dating a billionaire to dating a broke college guy? Like, there's no <laughs> oh going back. Oh my god! I don't no, think you can go are back. So high, it's really great for me. I actually cut off like so many people. Like, no one's allowed to be mean to me now. Wait, hold on. Wait. So after dating the billion, just so I'm clear, after dating the billionaire, now your standards are elevated to what? It's not really about money. Um, 
Just the treatment, I guess? But, I mean, sometimes it's about money. If it was, like... It's kind of like every... If you were to think of it entirely transactionally, there's, like, different aspects. There's attractiveness. There's, like, your ability to have sex. There's your personality. And then there's money, you know? So it's, like, you have to have a certain number of some of those stats. You don't have to have all of them. Okay. All right. Well, I think it was valuable enough that, like, she gets to say she dated a billionaire. That's obviously a big thing, right, for someone? Is that a flex? Not, I mean, think like, girls talk about it all the time. We're talking about it on this podcast, so that's some sort of worth to that. I wasn't trying to flex. You more just asked me a question, and I was like, this is interesting, so I answered with that. I think I'm no, not I judging for it. I wasn't saying you were trying to flex, but I don't know if it's a flex. Like, I one time dated a billionaire who I no longer see, and I also think it was gross. That's probably not like. I have, no, I think that you asked her, "Do you have anything interesting that you've done?" And then she said, "Well, I did a billionaire." And then how'd you? And then how wasn't? She goes, "Well, looking back, it was gross." I like that you're taught. Like, are you her lawyer or something? Like, <laughs> no. are you a fuck her advocate? Hello. <laughs> no, I'm just um, invested a lot she of can time. Agree in with this. me? No, that's that's fine. 